Intuitionistic type theory, also known as constructive type theory or martin lauf type theory, is a type theory and an alternative foundation of mathematics. Intuitionistic type theory was created by Per Martin Lauf, a Swedish mathematician and philosopher, who first published it in 1972. There are multiple versions of the type theory. Martin Lauf proposed both intentional and extensional variants of the theory and early impredicative versions, shown to be inconsistent by Girard's paradox, gave way to predicative versions. However, all versions keep the core design of constructive logic using dependent types. Topic: <laughs> Design Martin Lauf designed the type theory on the principles of mathematical constructivism. Constructivism requires any existence proof to contain a «witness». So, any proof of «there exists a prime greater than 1000» must identify a specific number that is both prime and greater than 1000. Intuitionistic type theory accomplished this design goal by internalizing the BHK interpretation. An interesting consequence is that proofs become mathematical objects that can be examined, compared, and manipulated. Intuitionistic type theories type constructors were built to follow a one-to-one -one correspondence with logical connectives. For example, the logical connective called implication a b display style a implies b corresponds to the type of a function a b display style a to b this correspondence is called the curry howard isomorphism previous type theories had also followed this isomorphism but martin lofs was the first to extend it to predicate logic by introducing dependent types topic <laughs> <laughs> type theory intuitionistic type theory has three finite types which are then composed using five different type constructors Unlike set theories, type theories are not built on top of a logic like Frege's. So, each feature of the type theory does double duty as a feature of both math and logic. If you are unfamiliar with type theory and no set theory, a quick summary is, types contain terms just like sets contain elements. Terms belong to one and only one type. Terms like two plus 2 display style 2 plus 2 and 2 2 display style 2 c d o t 2 compute reduce down to canonical terms like 4 for more see the article on type theory topic Zero type, one type, and two type. There are three finite types. The zero type contains zero terms. The one type contains one canonical term. And the two type contains two canonical terms. Because the zero type contains zero terms, it is also called the empty type. It is used to represent anything that cannot exist. It is also written display style bot and represents anything unprovable. That is a proof of it cannot exist. As a result, negation is defined as a function to it. A equals a display style neg a equals a to bot. Likewise, the one type contains one canonical term and represents existence. It also is called the unit type. It often represents propositions that can be proven and is, therefore, sometimes written top. Finally, the two type contains two canonical terms. 
It represents a definite choice between two values. It is used for Boolean values but not propositions. Propositions may be proven the one type, may be proven to never have a proof the zero type, or may not be proven either way. The law of excluded middle does not hold for propositions in intuitionistic type theory. Sigma type constructor Sigma types contain ordered pairs. As with typical ordered pair or two tuple types, a sigma type can describe the Cartesian product a times b display style a times b of two other types a display style a and b display style b Logically, such an ordered pair would hold a proof of a display style a and a proof of b display style b. So one may see such a type written as a b display style a wedge b. Sigma types are more powerful than typical ordered pair types because of dependent typing. In the ordered pair, the type of the second term can depend on the value of the first term. For example, the first term of the pair might be a natural number and the second term's type might be a vector of length equal to the first term. Such a type would be written n n VEC R N Display style sum underscore N Math bin Math B N operator name VEC Math B R N Using set theory terminology, this is similar to an indexed disjoint unions of sets. In the case of usual ordered pairs, the type of the second term does not depend on the value of the first term. Thus the type describing the Cartesian product n times r display style math b n times math b r is written n n r display style sum underscore n math bin math b n math b r it is important to note here that the value of the first term n display style n is not depended on by the type of the second term r display style math b r Obviously, sigma types can be used to build up longer dependently typed tuples used in mathematics and the records or structs used in most programming languages. An example of a dependently typed three tuple is two integers and a proof that the first integer is smaller than the second integer, described by the type m i n i m n equals true. Display style sum underscore m math bin math b i sum underscore n math bin math b i m dependent typing allows sigma types to serve the role of existential quantifier. The statement there exists an n display style n of type n display style math b n such that p n display style p n is proven becomes the type of ordered pairs where the first item is the value n display style n of type n display style math b n and the second item as a proof of p n display style p n notice that the type of the second item proofs of p n display style p n depends on the value in the first part of the ordered pair n display style n its type would be n n p n display style sum underscore n math bin math b n p n topic 
Pi-type constructor Pi-types contain functions. As with typical function types, they consist of an input type and an output type. They are more powerful than typical function types however, in that the return type can depend on the input value. Functions in type theory are different from set theory. In set theory, you look up the argument's value in a set of ordered pairs. In type theory, the argument is substituted into a term and then computation reduction is applied to the term. As an example, the type of a function that, given a natural number n returns a vector containing n Display style n. Real numbers as written n n vec r n. Display style prod underscore n math bin math b n operator name vec math b r n. When the output type does not depend on the input value, the function type is often simply written with a display style 2 thus n r display style math b n to math b r is the type of functions from natural numbers to real numbers such pi types correspond to logical implication the logical proposition a b display style a implies b corresponds to the type a b display style a to b containing functions that take proofs of a and return proofs of b this type could be written more consistently as a a b display style prod underscore a math bin a b Pi types are also used in logic for universal quantification. The statement for every n display style n of type n display style math b n p n display style p n is proven becomes a function from n display style n of type n display style math b n to proofs of p n display style p n thus given the value for n display style n the function generates a proof that p display style p holds for that value the type would be n n p n display style prod underscore n math bin math b n p n topic equals type constructor equals types are created from two terms given two terms like 2 plus 2 display style 2 plus 2 and 2 2 display style 2 c d o t 2 you can create a new type 2 plus 2 equals 2 2 display style 2 plus 2 equals 2 c d o t 2 the terms of that new type represent proofs that the pair reduce to the same canonical term thus since both 2 plus 2 display style 2 plus 2 and 2 2 display style 2 c d o t 2 
compute to the canonical term four display style four there will be a term of the type two plus two equals two two display style 2 plus 2 equals 2 c d o t 2 in intuitionistic type theory there is a single way to make terms of equals types and that is by reflexivity r e f l a a a equals a Display style operator name R E F L math bin prod underscore a math bin a a equals a. It is possible to create equals types such as one equals two. Display style one equals two, where the terms do not reduce to the same canonical term, but you will be unable to create terms of that new type. In fact, if you were able to create a term of 1 equals 2 display style 1 equals 2 you could create a term of display style bot putting that into a function would generating a function of type 1 equals 2 Display style one equals two implies bot. Since display style l dots implies bot is how intuitionistic type theory defines negation, you would have one equals two display style neg one equals two, or finally one does not equal Two. Display style one neq two. Equality of proofs is an area of active research in proof theory and has led to the development of homotopy type theory and other type theories. Topic: Inductive types. Inductive types allow the creation of complex, self-referential types. For example, a linked list of natural numbers is either an empty list or a pair of a natural number and another linked list. Inductive types can be used to define unbounded mathematical structures like trees, graphs, etc. In fact, the natural numbers type may be defined as an inductive type, either being 0 display style 0 or the successor of another natural number inductive types define new constants such as 0 0 n display style 0 math bin math b n and the successor function s n n Display style s math bin math b n to math b n. Since s display style s does not have a definition and cannot be evaluated using substitution, terms like s zero display style s zero and s s s zero display style sss zero become the canonical terms of the natural numbers proofs on inductive types are made possible by induction each new inductive type comes with its own inductive rule to prove a predicate p display style p for every natural number you use the following rule n E L I M P zero N N P N P S N N N 
p n display style operator name math b n elam math bin p zero two left prod underscore n math bin math b n p n to p s n right to prod underscore n math bin math b n p n Inductive types in intuitionistic type theory are defined in terms of W types, the type of well-founded trees. Later work in type theory generated coinductive types, induction recursion, and induction induction for working on types with more obscure kinds of self-referentiality. Higher inductive types allow equality to be defined between terms. Topic: Universe types. The universe types allow proofs to be written about all the types created with the other type constructors. Every term in the universe type u zero display style math call u underscore zero can be mapped to a type created with any combination of zero. One, two, sigma, pi equals display style zero one two sigma pi equals and the inductive type constructor. However, to avoid paradoxes, there is no term in u zero display style math call u underscore zero that maps to u zero display style math call u underscore zero to write proofs about all the small types and u zero display style math call u underscore zero you must use u one Display style math call u underscore one, which does contain a term for u zero. Display style math call u underscore zero, but not for itself u one. Display style math call u underscore one. Similarly, for u Two display style math call u underscore two. There is a predicative hierarchy of universes, so to quantify a proof over any fixed constant k display style k universes, you can use u k plus one. Display style math call u underscore k plus one. Universe types are a tricky feature of type theories. Martin Lauf's original type theory had to be changed to account for Girard's paradox. Later research covered topics such as super universes, malo universes, and impredicative universes. Topic. Judgments The formal definition of intuitionistic type theory is written using judgments. For example, in the statement if a a is a type and b is a type, b is a type then a a B display style text style sum underscore a a b is a type. There are judgments of is a type quote comma quote and and if then the expression a a b display style text style sum underscore a a b is not a judgment, it is the type being defined. 
This second level of the type theory can be confusing, particularly where it comes to equality. There is a judgment of term equality, which might say 4 equals 2 plus 2 display style 4 equals 2 plus 2 it is a statement that two terms reduce to the same canonical term there is also a judgment of type equality say that a equals b display style a equals b which means every element of a display style a is an element of the type b display style b and vice versa at the type level there is a type 4 equals 2 plus 2 display style 4 equals 2 plus 2 and it contains terms if there is a proof that 4 display style 4 and 2 plus 2 display style 2 plus 2 reduce to the same value obviously terms of this type are generated using the term equality judgment lastly there is an english language level of equality because we use the word 4 and symbol 4 display style 4 to refer to the canonical term s s s s 0 display style s s s s 0 synonyms like these are called definitionally equal by martin loff the description of judgments below is based on the discussion in Nordstrom, Peterson, and Smith. The formal theory works with types and objects. A type is declared by A T Y P E display style A M A T H S F type. An object exists and is in a type if a A display style a math bin a objects can be equal a equals b display style a equals b and types can be equal a equals b display style a equals b a type that depends on an object from another type is declared x a b display style x math bin a b and removed by substitution b x a display style b x a replacing the variable x display style x with the object a display style a in b display style b an object that depends on an object from another type can be done two ways if the object is abstracted then it is written x b display style x b and removed by substitution b x a display style b x a replacing the variable x display style x with the object a display style a in b display style b the object depending on object can also be declared as a constant as part of a recursive type an example of a recursive type is 0 n 
Display style zero math bin math b n s n n display style s math bin math b n two math b n here s display style s is a constant object depending on object. It is not associated with an abstraction. Constants like s display style s can be removed by defining equality here the relationship with addition is defined using equality and using pattern matching to handle the recursive aspect of s display style s add n times n n add 0 b equals b add s a b equals s add a b display style begin aligned operator name add and math bin math b n times math b n to math b n operator name add 0 b and equals b Operator name add S A B and equals S operator name add A B and aligned S display style S is manipulated as an opaque constant, it has no internal structure for substitution. So, objects and types and these relations are used to express formulae in the theory. The following styles of judgments are used to create new objects, types, and relations from existing ones. By convention, there is a type that represents all other types. It is called U display style math call U or set display style operator name set since U display style math call U is a type, the member of it are objects. There is a dependent type L display style operator name L that maps each object to its corresponding type. In most texts L display style operator name L is never written. From the context of the statement, a reader can almost always tell whether a display style A refers to a type or whether it refers to the object in u display style math call u that corresponds to the type this is the complete foundation of the theory everything else is derived to implement logic each proposition is given its own type the objects in those types represent the different possible ways to prove the proposition Obviously, if there is no proof for the proposition, then the type has no objects in it. Operators like and, and, or, that work on propositions introduce new types and new objects. So, a times b display style a times b is a type that depends on the type display style a and the type b display style b the objects in that dependent type are defined to exist for every pair of objects in a display style a and b display style b obviously if a display style a or b display style b has no proof and as an empty type then the new type representing a times b display style a times b is also empty this can be done for other types booleans natural numbers etc and their operators topic categorical models of type theory using the language of category theory rag 
Seeley introduced the notion of a locally Cartesian closed category LCCC as the basic model of type theory. This has been refined by Hoffman and de Burr to categories with families or categories with attributes based on earlier work by Cartmail. A category with families is a category C of contexts in which the objects are contexts, and the context morphisms are substitutions, together with a functor T, cop fam set. Fam set is the category of families of sets, in which objects are pairs a, b of an index set a and a function b, x a, and morphisms are pairs of functions f, a a, and g, x x, such that b degree g equals f degree b, in other words, f maps ba to b j a. The functor T assigns to a context G a set tie G of types, and for each a tie G a set T m G a of terms. The axioms for a functor require that these play harmoniously with substitution. Substitution is usually written in the form a f or a f, where a is a type in tie g and a is a term in t m g a, and f is a substitution from d to g here a f tie d and a f t m d a f. The category c must contain a terminal object, the empty context, and a final object for a form of product called comprehension, or context extension, in which the right element is a type in the context of the left element. If G is a context, an A, tie, G, then there should be an object, G, A, final among contexts D with mappings P, D, G, Q, T, M, D, App. A logical framework, such as Martin Lofs takes the form of Closure conditions on the context dependent sets of types and terms, that there should be a type called set, and for each set a type, that the types should be closed under forms of dependent sum and product, and so forth. A theory such as that of predicative set theory expresses closure conditions on the types of sets and their elements, that they should be closed under operations that reflect dependent sum and product, and under various forms of inductive definition. <laughs> Extensional versus intentional A fundamental distinction is extensional versus intentional type theory. In extensional type theory definitional i.e., computational equality is not distinguished from propositional equality, which requires proof. As a consequence type checking becomes undecidable in extensional type theory because programs in the theory might not terminate. For example, such a theory allows one to give a type to the Y combinator. A detailed example of this can be found in Nordstom and Peterson programming in Martin Lof's type theory. However, this doesn't prevent extensional type theory from being a basis for a practical tool, for example, NUPRL is based on extensional type theory. From a practical standpoint there's no difference between a program which doesn't terminate and a program which takes a million years to terminate. In contrast in intentional type theory type checking is decidable, but the representation of standard mathematical concepts is somewhat more cumbersome, since intentional reasoning requires using satoids or similar constructions. There are many common mathematical objects, which are hard to work with or can't be represented without this, for example, integer numbers, rational numbers, and real numbers. Integers and rational numbers can be represented without satoids, but this representation isn't easy to work with. Real numbers can't be represented without this. Homotopy type theory works on resolving this problem. 
It allows one to define higher inductive types, which not only define first-order constructors, values or points, but higher-order constructors, i.e. equalities between elements paths, equalities between equalities homotopies, ad infinitum. Implementations of type theory Different forms of type theory have been implemented as the formal systems underlying of a number of proof assistants. While many are based off per Martin Lof's ideas, many have added features, more axioms, or different philosophical background. For instance, the NUPRL system is based on computational type theory and Coke is based on the calculus of co inductive constructions. Dependent types also feature in the design of programming languages such as ATS, Cayenne, Epigram, AGDA, and Idris. <laughs> Martin Lauf type theories Per Martin Lauf constructed several type theories that were published at various times, some of them much later than the preprints with their description became accessible to the specialists. The list below attempts to list all the theories that have been described in a printed form and to sketch the key features that distinguished them from each other. All of these theories had dependent products, dependent sums, disjoint unions, finite types and natural numbers. All the theories had the same reduction rules that did not include eta reduction either for dependent products or for dependent sums except for MLTT 79 where the eta reduction for dependent products is added. MLTT 71 was the first of type theories created by Per Martin Lauf. It appeared in a preprint in 1971. It had one universe but this universe had a name in itself, i.e. it was a type theory with, as it is called today, type in type. Jean-Yves Girard has shown that this system was inconsistent and the preprint was never published. MLTT 72 was presented in a 1972 preprint that has now been published. That theory had one universe V and no identity types. The universe was «predicative» in the sense that the dependent product of a family of objects from V over an object that was not in V such as, for example, V itself, was not assumed to be in V the universe was a la Russell, i.e., one would write directly, T element of V, and T element of T. Martin Lauf uses the sign, element of, instead of modern, quote colon quote, without the additional constructor such as L. MLTT 73 It was the first definition of a type theory that Per Martin Lauf published it was presented at the Logic Colloquium 73 and published in 1975. There are identity types which he calls «propositions». But since no real distinction between propositions and the rest of the types is introduced the meaning of this is unclear. There is what later acquires the name of J-eliminator but yet without a name CPP, 94-95, there is in this theory an infinite sequence of universes V0 Vn The universes are predicative, a la Russell and non-cumulative. In fact, corollary 3.10 on p. 115 says that if A element of Vm and B element of Vn are such that A and B are convertible then M equals N. This means, for example, that it would be difficult to formulate univalence in this theory. There are contractible types in each of the V but it is unclear how to declare them to be equal since there are no identity types connecting V and Vj for I does not equal J. MLTT 79 It was presented in 1979 and published in 1982. 
In this paper, Martin Lauf introduced the four basic types of judgment for the dependent type theory that has since become fundamental in the study of the meta-theory of such systems. He also introduced contexts as a separate concept in it CP 161. There are identity types with the J eliminator which already appeared in MLTT 73 but did not have this name there but also with the rule that makes the theory extensional P 169 There are W types There is an infinite sequence of predicative universes that are cumulative Bibliopolis There is a discussion of a type theory in the Bibliopolis book from 1984 but it is somewhat open-ended and does not seem to represent a particular set of choices and so there is no specific type theory associated with it. See also Intuitionistic logic Per Martin Lauf Type theory Typed lambda calculus <laughs>